I can uh, remember happy days because it's all happy days maybe is when I'm registered in the school maybe this is Can you tell me your name and how old you are? My name is Starik Gam 24 years old. And what country are you from? I'm from Sudan. How long have you been living in Swindon? I'm Sudan one year. Could you tell me a little bit about what life was like in Sudan? It's like my life in Sudan before the world start is very simple and very easy. What made you decide to leave Sudan? Uh, this is my, my uncle told me you must to leave Sudan. Before his trouble starts, his, my life is very easy and very simple because it's, it's just only uh, can, I never think just one day for go to outside in my village. I can, I can uh, remember happy days because it's all happy days. Maybe it's when I'm registered in the school. Maybe this is enjoy if you come to your village, you can you know kill everybody. That's why you know you can stay. My uncle took me to Fajr. Can you tell me a little bit about what 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 they did? Yeah. He, if you come, he kill all the people after, and then it's some young people he took him about him, you know, going work hard with him. So they took the young people yeah. away? Yeah. Yeah. It's my journey is really difficult because it's, there is no any, it's like cars like this, you know, just by. Uh, Donkey sometimes by uh, uh, horses, some by walking. Yeah, this is my first journey from my village to another city. My uncle friend he work uh, in the he, he going to Egypt to bring stuff to Sudan. You know, he told my his friend and then I went with him to to Egypt by boat. And then he decided to leave Egypt because there is no job in Egypt. He said, go to Libya. I went to Libya. Um, went to Libya by, by car. By car is uh, my friend, I, my uncle friend, he paid this, this was an agent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then he took me in. Did you pay an agent to go to Italy? Yeah, um, first time I pay uh, $1,000. Uh, this is my first time. First time is after going to see like one, one, one uh, hour. And then it's captain, he can't drive. He just around in the sea. That's why we come back to Libya again. Second time we went like four, hours and a half and then his boat come uh, leaking 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 yeah boat come leaking that's why uh, we called uh, in, in Italy God he say you is near the, to the Libya you can't call we can't go there you call in, in Libya we call Libya, Libya say, yeah, no, we can't go there. Go, who is the say to you? You go. And then uh, nothing to do. Some people look uh, swimming on the, near next to the boat. And some people, you know, is cut the bottle of uh, water and then go put the water out. That's it. And then we have like, 55 people, 10 uh, girls, uh, and then it's like two, two child, one child have like two, two months. 
in the boat. Yeah, in the boat. And then uh, it's woman are just crying, no do nothing, because we live like uh, ten people put the water out, and then like twenty people is swimming next to. This is a uh, third journey. It's uh, like about six hundred people. Yeah, like six hundred people. We just for one boat. After we come like uh, ten hours, and then just we see like sky and water, no nothing. All the people silent, not six hundred people always. Just silent and water, water. And then after one hours, and then this big boat come. After Rome, we decide to go to uh, France. If you have money, you can get ticket from Paris to Cali. Cali is very hard to, uh, to live in Cali. Just here, yeah, all the people live in the jungle. No, like, no look like human being even. All the people push them and fighting. If you come early, you get food. Then I after escape up and then I feel down, broke my arm. Yeah, and then I um, stay in the hospital. Uh, after two days, yeah, I come to to England by lorry under the lorry. Get everyone, you know, running to chance. You know, he says this is. This, Many many cars is stop on the way. You go if you went, maybe you get chance to go to. I go by bike. I left my bike and then I ran the car, going down under the car. And then his car come to train station. Uh, car is stop like three hours, raining and cold freezing also and then it's after three hours this car they start to go to up the uh, train and then train take in the UK there is no any place all jungle I don't know if this is England or no and then it's police come after like ten minutes yeah I get the police police after Catch me everything you need, you have, and then call another police to come. Take me in the prison 24 hours, and then they pick me out for, and then we went to, I, by immigration I think, yeah. I went to in uh, Dover, from Dover to London, London I, like, 12 days from London to Cardiff, one month from Cardiff to Swindon. Now I have one year in Swindon. Now I'm playing English and play football also. I feel happy if it's better than before. Yes. Yeah, I think it's more confident. Yeah, it's, when I, I need, it's my uncle, he say you can't stay here. It's my mom, he, he doesn't like I, I go out with her. Because she she worry about me. I can't, I, I, can't, I, I, just, I can't live with my uncle. It's just, it's, no, it's too far from my mom. But my mom, when it's word start, he, he doesn't like I, I go in, leave her, I go with my uncle. And then it's, there is no choice, that's why his uncle say, first just is go out and then you, you come after. When I went to, I left my mom, we went to, uh, Mr. Man also is my mom. He did. He didn't like me. I go.
to uh, I left Sudan. That's why I we don't have choice. That's why I left my all my family 